Hi, I'm Scott at ediblemusic.com. There are a few mixing effects that you just need to have in your cupboard, and a slapback delay is one of them. But one of the weird things if you're working with plugins is that if you were to load up a preset that says slap delay, it's usually not set up the way that a slapback delay actually should be. So I'll show you how to do it using some guitars and some vocals, and it'll be the kind of thing once I set it up and load it in where you'll think, oh yeah, there it is. There are a few characteristics that will be crucial to a, a slapback delay. The first is that it will have zero feedback. It's just one echo, that's it. The second is that it's usually mono, and the third is that it can range in time, most will say between 50 milliseconds to 150 milliseconds. It can vary. And that's why these presets are not actually all that applicable to the way that you will want to be using a slapback delay. And I'm also going to show you some cool ways to add some spice to each of these characteristics of a slapback delay. But let's bring it in first on a guitar, where it might sound most familiar to you. So you can lengthen it. Or you can have it much tighter to the source sound. But that's what's cool about a slapback delay is that you can apply to your taste the length that you want the slap to happen. If you want it to be a little bit looser, that's fine. That's a little bit too far, I'd say. Turn it down just a touch. That sounds just as good too. And a little bit shorter. Cool. To set up a simple slapback delay, that's pretty much all there is to it. And the funny thing about the length of time that a slap will occur is that the slapback delay was originally developed using tape machines within the studio and they would be monitoring the tape as it goes around the wheel and the length of time or the length of the delay was strictly dependent upon the physical distance between the tape heads <laughs> and we don't really need to worry about that now we can apply it stylistically as we as we please so you can choose from among that range I'll show you if it gets a little bit too close we sort of lose it if we apply it too far, then it gets a little bit wacky as well. So let's leave it around here for now. And I'll show you some ways that you can spice it up. You can also use it on vocals. And I'll show you how that sounds here. I need a little promise. Brand new ho ho. One good reason that's all not smoke. A valid idea. More exuberant than the dream. Though so sometimes if you're using a delay, you'll want it to be pretty low in the mix balance. You'll want it to be kind of tucked in behind the vocal. The, th the interesting thing about a slapback delay is that you do want it to be noticeable. You want it to be up fairly high in the mix like this. Now one thing that you can do is to split up the times a little bit using, here I'll just use these percentages, and that will add a bit of stereo information to it. I need a new promise, brand new hope, one good reason that solid not smoke, a valid idea, more exuberant than the dream. Tangible connection with a You could also just adjust the dials themselves. I'm looking for purity. Instinct, please. But the world is not what I thought it would be. And another thing that you'll probably want to make sure of, as you noticed using these vocals as an example, is that the S's and the T's, they carried through into the delay. So you might want to use a de -esser, or you could EQ them out. On this delay, I've got an EQ here. So I'll load that in. And we'll just pull the high frequencies out 
so that those S's and T's aren't carrying into the delay. More exuberant than dream. Tangible connection with a sentient being. But lies have modified me to a point I've never seen. So that way you can still have the delay up nice and high in the mix, but it's not going to have that quick repeat of the S's and T's or the consonants in there. It'll allow the dry vocal to remain at the front, and then the slap delay, especially when you stereoize it like this, will sort of wrap around it a bit. We'll count for much tomorrow. Very cool. I need a new and here as well, you can right tighten it up to the vocal. One good reason that's solid, not smoke. Or you can have it a little more distant. More exuberant than dream. But you hear what it sounds like when you add a slapback delay is that there's sort of a shadow behind the program element that is being sent to it. First we heard it on the electric guitar, now we can hear it on vocals. But it just sounds as though all of a sudden that program element is occurring in a space that has some reflections going on and it sounds much more lively than with just the dry element on its own. At the same time, because it's not a reverb, it's just one echo, it's not occupying a lot of information across the frequency spectrum. It happens very quick and then it's gone and there's no problems that it's creating. It's great. The last thing that I want to show you to spice this up is that you can add a little bit of some frequency modulation to it. And I'll show you how to do that using a flanger. I need a new promise. Brand new hope, one, one good reason that sun, not smoke, a valid idea, more exuberant than dream, tangible connection with a sensation being, but life has modified me to a point I've never seen. I'm, I'm looking, looking for a purity, instinct please, but the world, world is not what I thought it would be. Right, that's pretty cool. A little bit of subtle movement in addition to the slapback delay. Really nice. Now, because they were originally made on tape machines, you might also want to add a little bit of saturation because that's a characteristic that would be imbued on the sound by running it through the tape machine. So if we add just a little bit of saturation... For the more the less I know, it seems this game is endless. Well, just like that. Now you can add a bunch of different kinds of effects. You can also send your slapback delay into a reverb that might itself be a little bit tucked more behind while the slapback, the slapback delay is enabled to wrap around the program element that way. But have a lot of fun with this. I think if you get those three characteristics down first, just one echo, no feedback on it. And if you find a spot to your taste, usually from around 50 to 150 milliseconds, you can have a lot of flexibility with whether you want it to be a little bit looser or a little bit tighter. And that will influence the way that it feels, but it will give that program element a nice sense of size and spaciousness without occupying too much of the rest of the mix. Try it out.